architecture on this building here is very CCC, CCCP. So this is the National Assembly of Vietnam, the Parliament building. And behind us, the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum in the sunset. So previously we've just looked at the the ancient seat of power in Hanoi and the Tan Long Citadel since destroyed by the French but the two gates were left over and now this is the the modern seat of power of Vietnam. What are your thoughts Gavin? Mr Gavin? 20 years since I was here and uh, it's the same respectful space yeah there's no for, uh, informal cellars anywhere to be seen. There's nowhere to buy a bottle of water. This area is very special to the Vietnamese. You can see just wandering through the uh, tall grass there. It's got a bit of a rural feel right here. And designed within the French citadel, or the ex French citadel, in the style for Ho Chi Minh and uh, the people of Vietnam, the United People of Vietnam in the mid 70s. And then you can visit Ho Chi Minh himself. Uh, uh, body laid to rest in the mausoleum there. Yeah. And we're lucky, lucky, no tourists around at the moment. Well, yeah, that's what I found all day. Um, now, in the distance there, behind the trees, is the Presidential Palace, the great big yellow building. And originally that was built by the French to house the uh, Governor General. You can't quite see it now. I'll put some pictures up here and that really was the seat of power for the French and lots of the buildings around us there is this there's this kind of divide freeway divide between the ancient 1000 year Vietnamese national style which was taken from the French so the Vietnamese became independent and then you've got the French imposition around it and then you've got the modern Vietnamese imposition around it these three different styles which all interact with each other and they tell a story about how Vietnam has continuously fought for its identity and who it is. And maybe it's found it now. But I think when we look around here and we see Vietnamese people, like you say, respectful and relaxed, it does tell us a little bit about what, what they're like. That is very Vietnamese. And they didn't expunge all the evidence of French presence. So like you say, there's architecture around which is still very French. Yeah. Well, I've just uploaded a video about that today, so watch that one. Um, interesting fact. So the Governor General's building, which is now the Presidential Palace, these would have been the grounds of that behind us, behind the mausoleum. That was the grounds of the Presidential Palace. And when Ho Chi Minh became the president, he refused to use the Presidential Palace. He refused to live there. And so instead, he built a traditional Vietnamese-style hut in the grounds and that is where he received foreign dignitaries and that is where he lived and it says a lot about the man now buried in here and what he was like and why I would suggest he's held in such great esteem by the Vietnamese people because oh. at every point in his life everything he did was about the Vietnamese people yeah. you know the stories of him going off to France at the end of World War One when the Treaty of Versailles was being decided and he was asking for independence and then at the end of World War II, again, asking for independence and supporting the Americans to defeat the Japanese. And then again, in front of me now, this whole square, this is where Ho Chi Minh read out the Declaration of Independence in 1945. When the, the Japanese were forced out of Vietnam, this is where Ho Chi Minh stood. And the first line of that Declaration of Independence was taken directly from the American Declaration of Independence. And it was about recognizing that we are all created equal, not just in America, but actually in the whole world. And Vietnam needed the support of the rest of the world to get that freedom from its colonial overlords, the French. So yeah, fantastic, uh, a great man with a great mausoleum, with a great story and a great area filled with history. The old stuff that we've already looked at, the French stuff, the modern parliament, the, the the modern reminder of Vietnam and uh, it's great to be here on the start of our trip, Mr. Gavin right. and I, humanities trip uh, across the north of Vietnam.
So keep following our videos, keep checking up with what's happening and 